Welcome, welcome back to the Jamaican African Travels. I want to say blessing to all my loyal supporters, viewers, subscribers, and also special thanks to the new subscribers that just find my channel. You find the channel at the right time and you are at the right place. Because this channel is about inspired, motivate and help others to accomplish their dream. So yes, we are Jamaican who migrate to the motherland in Tanzania, East Africa. And we are doing a little farming project over here. And someone asked me the reason why I plant banana this deep. If it's a norm in Africa, I don't know, but this is my own concept that I come up with because as you can look at this soil, the soil mix sand with clay, so we call it sandy clay soil. And a given day, it is real super hot. Even when you dig about two feet deep, you can feel the heat in the sand. So when you go about four feet, you escape the sand, so you meet just the clay itself. So that's why I come up with the concept, dig my banana hole four feet deep, four feet wide. And also another reason is because the, the weeds that I take from my field, I dump in there. So when you put your, first what I do, I put my manure at the bottom, let it sit for about two to three weeks. Then I plant, then I had my dry grass, green grass, can leaves, the fruit from the kitchen, any spoiled fruit, you can see either the antovil that I use from my kitchen, I dump in there. If I have cardboard, I put it there, let it break down because when it breaks down, it's an excellent fertilizer. And also I use the water from my fish pan to help water these banana. It's also its fertilizer. Uh, these banana that you see here, they are just three months. Three months, but this one here, this is a pilot project that I'm doing. This one is just four weeks and one day. So I want to show you how the banana really grow. But like I said, this is my concept. I don't know if exactly what other people do. And you know, the deeper you go, you have to build back the pH or put back the soil in alkaline state, so you have to add. So this is one of my new banana that I just plant because I am extending my banana field. And also what I'm doing, I try to intercrop because if you can see, there's a lot of empty space in this area because the passion all died out so I have to be replanting and right now when this line here this line that you see that black line I plant maize or corn so in this area you have three crop coming out of your banana you have passion and you have maize coming up, so I try to utilize my land intercrop. Everyone in their own line, because as you can see, this is the passion line, so it's not going to interfere with the corn or with the banana. And I plant them in between four meter, which is about approximately 12 feet apart. And the reason this distance is to plant other crop. I don't want to just plant banana alone. Look at the distance. In between row and across, you have the same distance. Yeah. 
So yes, people, this is an uh, excellent way, but like I said, in the Bagamoya area, it is a sandy clay, and it's a very tricky soil to work on because lots of plant jokes hard to survive here, especially the short-term crop. You have to rely more on the long-term crop, but it depends on the season and also your water resource. If you have water, can give the plant some support in the summer. It will likely survive. So yes, this is what I do, so this is a way you can try and see if it works because we have to utilize our brain. See how I do it? This is like the core manual mixed with the top soil. Like I said, the soil in the bottom is not that carry that amount of nutrients, so you have to add nutrients to the soil. So, so you take away from the soil, you give back to the soil, and then you will get the production that you need. So over here, it's my new corn field. Yeah, this corn is just seven weeks old. And they are bearing corn already. So by next week, I can start harvest corn. And as you can see, I have my drip line. If the soil is super dry, I just turn on the pipe and give them a little water because can don't need plenty of water, I just need the liquid support. And also, I'm intercropping with my passion as well because like I said, five weeks or seven weeks ago, when you look out here, it's just silo seeing everything die down. So I'm replanting. So I plant the corn and the corn kind of bring back some hope. Let the farm look like it have some life while my passion coming up. So yes, people, this is what we have to do when we come to Africa. Don't only come here to make up nice and don't come here with any plan because if you come here and don't decide to work hard or make a make adjustment you can end up be feel over here because like i said it is not easy to survive here locally you have to put in the hard work you have to be of vision because like the most i said without vision you will perish yes yeah, so look at these size can just seven weeks i said so within nine weeks and you see how i have them in in rows so you can put in other crap yes so like i said we have to do something and this is how we're going to contribute to the economy and this country is one of the f fastest growing economy in the world and also the African continent it's growing so whichever continent whichever country you come you go to when you come on the conti continent just utilize your skill or your brain and it can work for you because once a country is developing, as the economy is growing, it always leaves opportunity. So we have to seize the opportunity and work on our plan, and our plan will work on us. Yeah, so we cannot just come here waste time or try to use our funny tongue to try to swingle people and lie can people to survive. Once you don't willing to work hard, you must thief. And like I said, you cannot give a hungry cat food to watch. 
I give a hungry man food to watch they will eat it. And desperate people, like I said, do desperate things. We have to utilize the brain, people. And another thing I want to say, people, never watch evil people when they are surviving. Don't watch them. Don't jealous of them. Because the most I will cut them down when you earn in wealth through vanity or work in iniquity to obtain vanity. You're going to get cut down like grass. The most I said goodness and mercy endure it forever. Psalm 52 verse 1 tell you, why boasted thyself, O evil man? Goodness and mercy endure it forever. So we will put out the hard work. Because Proverbs 27, Proverbs 13 verse 4 tell you, the lazy want plenty but got little. But he that work hard, though that work hard must prosper. The people just always put in the good work. Always be patient. Believe in the Mosai. Don't just use the Mosai name to call up and to fool people that you are godly. Many times ungodly people use the Mosai name to reap their reward what they want. But people is just a matter of time before you get cut down to the ground like a grass. So people, if you are doing evil, you need to stop because the most I, you cannot play with or use his name to finger people and believe that you are doing good, which is evil intention. So yes, people, I'm just showing you. I give you an idea of what you can do, or you can plant your corn, your passion, your banana, and the most I will bless you. Sometimes the way you plant it, it don't work that way because sometimes you have unplanned situation that come and end your progress. But people, you cannot give up because sometimes when you give up, your blessing is just right around the corner. So always, people, have confidence in yourself in what you're doing. Work hard, determine. So yes, people, this is my few words. So until next time, just stay blessed, stay strong. If you enjoy the video, can just give it a thumbs up, share, and subscribe if you have not yet, because this channel needs to grow so that other people can see what we are doing over here, that when you come, you don't last in ideas. You can have something to look at. Uh, some opportunity can be here where you can explore upon and turn it into business, even by what I'm planting. So yes, people, until next time, just stay blessed. Thank you very much. Asante Sana.